Okay, so now we're at the point that we've completed our digital tooth setup and our digital teeth movement. We may have added buttons to our case, if relevant, via the add buttons. And now we're going to continue to the export stage. Clicking continue to export. The software is generating the relevant models for each step. Now what comes up on screen is the option to order the aligners for the digital plan that we just created. This option is currently available in the United States and several other countries and will be expanding to additional countries with time. If you're manufacturing aligners in-house, go ahead and click on no and don't show for two weeks. Otherwise, go ahead and click on yes. So the software saves the case and if you haven't named it yet, it will prompt you to provide a name and choose a location on your computer where to save the case. And it's going to attach the case to your order form for the liner fabrication. The liner order form opens on the screen. We could of course see the fantastic pricing for the smaller cases are currently being offered for $4.99 for up to 24 total liners and the larger cases for $7.99 for up to 80 total liners. So simply complete the information. Your data has already been attached to the order form. Press the order button. Your liners will be manufactured and sent to you. Okay, so now we've gotten to the actual export stage. Let's take a look at the panel. The top part of the panel we're familiar with, the active jaw and the ability to show opposing arch. Now, if we continue down on the panel, we now have the platform for printing. What we're talking about here is this platform for printing. Let's take a look for a second. If we right click on the panel, we have options to remove it, unlock and to reset platform. So this platform for printing, the idea here is that you could put the models vertically into the printer software and print the models vertically. That's what this platform is for. So the software places the platform based on a rough approximation. What we should do, what the user should do is right click and choose unlock. Click on the platform, zoom out a little bit so you have it in your widget and use the widget to fine tune the placement of the platform. You want the platform to cover the heels of the models. It doesn't need to extend past the heels of the models. So we could shrink the platform a bit. Okay, it should slightly overlap with the model itself. And what's great is that although we're doing this on one model for the upper and one model for the lower, the platform of course will be added to all the models upon the export. I'll also comment here that although we're looking at solid models, we have the ability, and I'll show it in properties in just a little bit, to generate hollow models to save on printing time and printing material. In addition, there's the ability to hollow the models, but to have a crisscross platform closing the top of them, the inside will be hollow, but you'll have a crisscross pattern closing the model. So I'll show you those options in just a minute. Meanwhile, we've improved the placement of our platform. We could control the rotation of the platform as well if we want to do it manually based on the actual tilts. So we could do that using the values here. And we also have the ability to separate the platform. The idea again is to have the platform just on the heels to reduce the printing time and the printing material. So you could go ahead and customize and fine tune the placement of the platform on each one of the jaws. And once you're done with that, we can move on to discuss the labeling tool. So the next option that we have here is the labeling tool. The labeling tool enables us to emboss or engrave text along with the model number directly onto the model and or the liners. So if you've designed and generated your liners in Blue Sky Plan and you're going to be exporting the STL of the liners for direct aligner printing, you can emboss or engrave on the model or the liner. If you've only generated the models, and you're going to be exporting only the models, then the emboss or the engrave options will only be on the model itself. Simply enter the relevant text, could be a unique patient identifier, and click show label. You can now see the label on the screen. You could control the size of the label essentially by zooming your models in and out. The larger the model, the smaller the text will be, and vice versa. You could control the placement and location of the label by rotating the models around. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this on the mandible. You wanna make sure that it's not directly on the edge of any of the models. You wanna leave some space to any edge. And if you want to only number without any text, 
simply remove the text from the box and check show label and it will show you just the number without any text. So once we've positioned the model accordingly, we could go ahead and click on apply after choosing emboss or engrave and the software will apply the relevant text to all the models for that jaw. After doing it for one jaw, simply switch to the opposing arch and do it for the opposing jaw as well. So I'm going to open up properties and show you some relevant functionality connected to what we've been discussing. So I went to tool properties, orthodontics, and I'm going to slide down to the bottom. So here we have a checkbox to add the model platform automatically, which is what we saw that the platform shows up automatically when we get to the export stage. And then we have default options in terms of the platform rotation, height and thickness. And we have the settings here for an aligner or indirect bonding tray, height or thickness for the platform as well. So you could go ahead and customize the default options if you like directly here. Here we have the options regarding the hollow models as talking about earlier. You could click the checkbox to generate hollow models. And if you want the cross pattern to close the hollow model, you could click the checkbox here. Here you have the setting regarding the thickness, the wall thickness of the hollow models. By default, it's three millimeters. And of course you could adjust it accordingly. Now regarding the labeling, we have an option for label text and numbering either as separately or one line. So by default, we have it separately, which is why we see the number on the next row. It's not next to the text, but it's on the next row. If we would like it to be on the same row, then we could click one line, click OK. And now we have the text with the numbering on the same line. So once you have the relevant text and it's positioned and the size is set accordingly with the option of the numbering, go ahead and select either model or aligner, whatever's relevant, and go ahead and click on apply. Okay, here we see a message that comes up on the screen telling us to make sure the text is not on the bottom of the model because we have the hollow model option selected. And if we try to emboss or engrave onto the bottom when the models are hollow, that obviously is not going to work. So that's this confirmation box that comes up. You could click don't show again and then click OK. What's happening now is the software will apply the text onto all the relevant models. Okay, so I have applied the text to the model. If we go through the slider that we have here, we could see the various models for the teeth movement, and we could see that the text applied to each model is applied to the model with the correct numbering. Multiple labels could be applied to the same models as well. So if you'd like to add the numbering onto the tooth so it comes up in the aligner, you could simply remove the label text, click show label, position it into the proper location, and then click the apply button. The relevant numbering is being applied to the relevant models. And once again, if we slide through the models, we could see the relevant numbering has been applied to the relevant model. We have the export video option, which we also have in the teeth movement stage discussed in a different video. But here as well, you could export a video of the teeth movements, you have the option of showing in the video what's visible on the screen when the button is clicked. You have the option of showing both draws separately or both draws in a bite. You have additional options to show the CT teeth when relevant, the IPR diastema labels, the video size and quality, and you could add any custom text to the video with different font and formatting options. So now we have various checkboxes for the actual export. So export models, if you're exporting the models, should always be selected. We have the option to open and to send the models to the printing software. We actually have different printing softwares integrated. And whatever you have installed on your computer, you'll have the checkbox for that software here as well. We have the ability to activate remote monitoring for this patient. What this will do, if it's checked at the time of export, it's going to take the data that's in the Blue Sky plan and send it to Blue Sky Monitoring and set everything up for the remote monitoring system. A dialog box will open where you can enter the patient's information, create an automatic scan request schedule, and more. I'll discuss the monitoring in a different video. But again, if you have this checkbox checked, it will take all the data that's relevant, send it to the monitoring option, 
and it will enable you in the remote monitoring to compare the models for a particular aligner step to the actual photos or videos that you get from the patient for that particular aligner step. So again, check Blue Sky Monitoring for more information, blueskymonitoring.com, and I will describe the functionality in more detail in a different video. We also have the option to export both JAWS. In previous versions of the software, you would run the export for one JAW and then run the export for the other JAW one at a time. If you'd like to just export everything together and have it run automatically, click the export both JAWS option. And we have the option to create a report. So you could go ahead and select the relevant options for the particular case. Click the export button and everything relevant will happen. The models will be saved to your computer. If you've designed the liners, they'll be saved to your computer. You'll be prompted to choose a location where the report is going to be saved. And if you have the checkboxes for the printing software or to send the models and the relevant data to Blue Sky Monitoring, then that will happen as well. Visit blueskyliners.com to see all of our aligner related solutions and visit prontoaligners.com to learn more about weathering aligners from Pronto Aligners with true anatomical mechanics.